Listen up, True Blood fans, the season 5 teaser has just been released and Remote Access has all the scoop. Hey guys, I'm Deidre Behar, hanging out here in our Hollywood studios, and boy oh boy does this season of True Blood look juicy. No pun intended. Check it out. Okay, so HBO sort of skimped on giving us any actual footage or spoilers, but there's definitely still something for us to chew on. Even though the last we saw of him was when Bill and Eric were burying him, this clip pretty much confirms that we're gonna see the return of the original Vampire King of Louisiana, Russell Edgington. And in keeping with the whole nothing stays buried forever theme, certainly Al Seed's feelings for Sookie can be applied, as we finally saw him reveal his romantic sentiments for her in the season 4 finale. Joe Manganiello, the actor who plays Al Seed, caught up with TV Line just a few weeks ago and revealed, as you saw at the end of season 4, Al Seed's not taking anyone's sh anymore. Now you're gonna see Al Seed who's going to slam you up against the wall and do his thing. Who doesn't like being slammed up against the wall, right? With regards to whether this alleged slamming was more literal or more figurative, the hunky actor played coy and said, quote, it could be a fun slam and it could be an angry slam. You never know. But made sure to remind us that Al Seed is single and there's some really fun Al Seed sookie stuff that makes you really nervous. Meow. Other things to look forward to, Janina Gavankar, who plays Luna, revealed that a major thing happens to Luna early in the season and it's going to change her life forever. Meanwhile, Ryan Quantin, who plays Jason, cryptically said that his character better watch out. The tables have finally turned. And of course, Jason also saw the return of Reverend Steve, but this time with fangs. Let's also not forget the introduction of Scott Foley's new character, former Marine buddy of Terry's. No word yet on what his character arc will be, but it should be good. And lastly, with that whole Tara's brains being blown to bits and pieces thing, will we see her die cured with Bill or Eric's blood, or will she be turned into a vampire? With so much going on in the chaotic world that is Bon Temps, I know how rough getting through these next true bloodless spring months is going to be, but we're all in this together, people. Till then, let's talk about it below, shall we? Who do you wanna see Sookie romantically link up with in season five? Bill, Eric, Alcide? Post your thoughts in the comments section, hit that subscribe button, and keep it locked here on Clever News, your number one source for all things True Blood. In Hollywood, I'm Deidre Behar, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>